As you create content, you may decide that you want to link to a website. You can do this by creating a hyperlink. In this video, we'll talk about descriptive hyperlinks and how to create them. Let's start by talking about why descriptive hyperlinks are so useful. Imagine visiting a web page or a document like this student resource and viewing all of the hyperlinks as a simple list. Though presented differently from what you might be used to, you might agree that viewing all of the links as a list would make it easy to skim and find the one you need without having to read the entire page's content. That's often how students with sight disabilities find the link that they need. However, if we look closely at each of the hyperlinks from the student resource, most of the names aren't very useful. For example, if I wanted to view the volunteer calendar, I wouldn't be sure of which link I should select. Vague hyperlinks like these make it difficult to determine which one is the desired link. What if the list look more like this? Is it a little easier to determine where each link will take us? I can also expect a new browser window to open when I click these hyperlinks. Generally, descriptive hyperlinks make sense out of context and express three pieces of information. Where the link is going, the purpose of the link, and what, if anything, happens when the link is clicked. If there's a good chance that the content will be printed, then it's a good idea to provide the link's address near the hyperlink. If the hyperlink is to a downloadable file, then indicate the type of file in the text, such as this hyperlink to a downloadable PowerPoint presentation. To create a hyperlink, first I'll copy the web page's address. In my document, I've already typed descriptive hyperlink text that identifies where the link is going and why it has been provided. I've also let my readers know to expect the link to open in a new window. So next, I'll highlight the link name, right-click, and select hyperlink. In the address field, I'll paste the web page's address and click OK. There we go, the hyperlink's been created. My readers may decide to print this document, so I'll also provide the link's address. Before leaving the document, it's a good idea to test the hyperlink to make sure that it works. Descriptive hyperlinks are accessible and are a great tool for sharing websites and resources with your students. They will help ensure that all of your students will be able to quickly find the link that they need. 